Hi, I'm Tushar and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the technical aspect of photography. According to me, photography is a creative art, so I won't talk about the creative aspect of it because it is subjective. I will cover three important topics which I have discovered in this first part of the video that are bit depth, histogram and color space. Let me give you a brief idea about each of these topics real quick. As per what your camera allows, you can choose shooting on higher bit depth to capture more details. Personally, I shoot on the Nikon Z6 which allows me to shoot 14 bit raw photographs and you can make it mandatory to check that if you are shooting on the highest bit depth which your camera can shoot. Comparing to 8 bit, a 14 bit raw captures 16384 shades of red, green and blue. Looking at the figures, definitely I will choose 14 bit over 8 bit any day. Generally we shoot at 8-bit which means we are shooting 256 shades of red, green and blue which may be sufficient for general purpose but it is not ideal for processing and results in banding which makes your photos look bad. Understanding the histogram is crucial because it is a read of tonal values of your image. In other words, it shows the amount of tones of particular brightness found in your photographs ranging from black to white. In 21st century, I feel technology allows us to make better results. So while shooting your image, you should focus on getting a perfect read on the histogram disregarding what the viewfinder is showing you. With the amount of detail which our 14 bit raw contains, we can extract a lot of details in the post processing. Understanding the color range is very crucial and if I talk about it in simple words, it is defined as the range of colors which a device can produce or record. If you look at the diagram, you can see the whole spectrum of colors. And in daily life, while using monitors, TVs and mobile screens, we are looking at sRGB color space, which covers a very small chunk of the whole spectrum of colors. If we want to broaden our color space, we can choose Adobe RGB, but again, it limits our range. As a photographer, you would like to choose maximum color range, so I prefer choosing Prophoto RGB, which covers a wide range of colors. If you want to know more about color gamut, you can check out the link in the description. So with that being told, let us head out and click some photos. I got my friends Rohan and Akshat accompanying me and we love to explore and be creative with our gears. Akshat is a professional 3D artist and Rohan is pursuing BFA animation. While clicking photos, I am on manual mode of the camera and after composing, I prefer keeping photos flat on the histogram. That means shadows and brightness are not too dark or bright respectively. Once I get before my laptop, I will process these images and continue the second part of this video. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and drop your views, suggestions and questions in the comment section. See you in the next video.